How is it that we have arrived at this place in history? Well, let me tell you that. But first of all, let's talk about. Anita Faya Hill. This is a photo of her in 2018. Let's get started. Da 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 Well, hi guys, and welcome to a new episode on the channel. And today we will be talking about Anita Faye Hill. And so while me, well, at least other me, tries to get my pencil, well, he won't. There will be a lot of things we'll be discussing today. I'm going to be in the middle right now because of some reasons. But what? Oh come on. Oh well. Oh well. Anyways, Anita Faye Hall. She is an awesome person, and all I can say is that there is just one thing about her I don't understand. Is that her life? So let's talk about it, okay? You know what? I'm annoyed by you. Let's do this. Yeah, he doesn't have a voice whenever I do that. Well, let's close it. Anyways, let's talk about her life. So she was born on a date. To be more specific, she was born on July 30th of 1956. In fact, that is one of the dates I know well about people: birth dates. And the only thing I don't know about her that I had to look into this was that she was born in a place called Long Tree, in a place called Long Tree, Oklahoma. And most of the information I got is either from sources or her speech. And I'll be doing her speech, which is kind of has some inappropriate words that I shouldn't even be saying at my age. But hey, it's for American history. Anyways, she graduated from Morris High School, and she was also went to Yale High School. Which is the only reason why I have my hat. Yeah, yippee! And also the cushion. There you go. So let's talk about it. Yale University has some things I should say, and she did a good job. In fact, she got her Juris Doctor degree in 1980. After that, she went on a few jobs, and then eventually she went up onto a job of by Clarence Thomas, where she became the assistant of Clarence Thomas, who was the chairman of the EEOC. Or the initials are the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission. Here is a photo of him, and yeah, she left the position in 1983 for several reasons. She also testified it under court for the reasons. The only reason why she did it was because this guy was starting to talk about sexual things with her, about like uh this word or this symbol related movies. And talked about how big his um was, and uh, this basically this would probably be the second most video on my YouTube channel that got censored a lot. The first one being an idioms video, which got censored because I showed my foot. I think it was a foot idiom. I mean, what's so inappropriate about that? After testifying it in a case called Thomas v Hill, I just searched up that random name, and then it turned out it was a real court case. Then I it popped up images about this and this. No, not that. No, not that. Yeah, that's basically it. And that too. So it also gave the I believe Anita Hill pin badge. And if you're wondering who this guy is, well, let me give you a clue. Ding. If you chose this guy, well, you got it correct. He is currently the forty-fifth president of the United States of America, and is a Democrat. And kind of, well, undid his campaign, and was a VP of Barack Obama. 
and the court ruling he did for Thomas V. Hill was, I'm pretty sure, during Ronald Reagan's presidency. He was definitely younger back then. I mean, he also ran for president before, or was a vice president. But other than that, like, I mean, he ran for president, <laughs> at least for the Democratic nominee, and then he failed to become the Democratic nominee. So now he has been it, and now he can do it. I'll probably be making a video about him soon. And eventually he did say to PBS NewsHour that he would apologize to Anita Hill for some things that he didn't do. I mean, he was vice president. I mean, yeah, I mean, he, like, was a senator, and he could do things, and yeah. But however, he, like, said that he was uh, too quiet, and that he could have done something, and that he just wanted to apologize on her. And the first thing he did during his campaign was call her, because he just apologized to her. For not doing as much as he could. And that's all I can see. And she won! Yay, Hill! And this is a photo of her in 2014 talking to some Harvard students. She basically went against sexual harassment. And, well, that's as basic as I can go. So that is the end. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And she is currently um, 66 years old. Yeah. So... I hope to see you guys in the next episode. Shut on out. Peace.